Hello YouTube. Um, going to do a review on this new bag I've got, which I showed in my last video. It's a copy, basically, of the Remora Gear Slinger by Maxpedition. Now, I just wanted this for my cook kit, a cook kit that I'm putting together, like, um, and I just want... The bottle is the Lifesavers bottle, which I still haven't done a review on because I've got no water in my woods, but I'm going to find a little stream nearby and test it out there. To be honest, I haven't actually used it to purify water yet. I've tried it with tap water and stuff, but anyway... Um, yeah, I was going to do this in the woods the other day, but my shelter got smashed down. I've got over that now. Thanks for everyone's comments on that. Nice to know people have been through the same situation. And um, I'm also thinking of the Tibetan Buddhist monks who make these sand mandalas once a year, put loads of effort into it, like loads, these tiny little sand designs, uh, really intricate. Then they take them and they wash them away into the river. And it's... Um, it's a lesson in impermanence for them. Don't know if any of you are into Buddhism or give a beep about Buddhism. But anyway, I find that quite interesting. Um, everything's impermanent. Anyway, uh, shelters being smashed down, a good lesson in that. By the way, if you want to see a decent shelter, not a British one, check out Colonel Chimp's comments on my last video, the, the one about the shelter. Hello, Colonel Chimp. He has got a great shelter <coughs> built pretty much in his back garden in Canada where he's got loads of land. Canada seems to be the place to be and Australia I hear but yeah. He's got himself a little 22 rifle, or say little big 22 rifle that he's allowed to have legally on his land. Can build a shelter there, excellent stuff. So yeah if you want to see a good shelter in that sort of format, uh, check out his one. It's good, he's commented below on my other one. Anyway to the review, so this is this Hong Kong copy now it's exact I have never had a remora but from what I can see from the pictures it's exactly the same obviously the quality is that this costs 15 pound I think they charge you like three pound postage you gotta wait a couple of weeks for it because it's from Hong Kong but you know if you don't want to spend the money on expedition because you don't know if you're gonna be using it like the stuff where I know I will use it all the time as I'm doing a review on a new uh, medical first aid kit soon then yeah you know it's worth spending the money but this is perfect because I can just test it out. Anyway, it comes with this strap which has got a little pocket down there. Now obviously the material is nowhere the Maxpedition quality but then you're not going to expect it to be for a quarter if that of the price. Um, so yeah, you've got the little sleeve down there. Personally, I'll, I don't know, or maybe you could shove a band. Tell you what, I haven't put it in here yet. My Millbank bag would fit perfectly in there or my meal bank bag down the back here or even just a bandana in there for your filtration purposes uh, pre-filtering that would be perfect for that got this belt loop here now the other day I attached at one stage to test it I attached that to my PLC belt and then what I've done as the PLC e belts have got the webbing clips on them I then clip this clip to the webbing clip instead of clipping it there put that around me put that on the PLC you know it's not the best velcro again obviously and that's probably not going to last me very long but yeah I put that on there and then the second way I done it when I walked back from the woods I connected that to the belt so this hung down lower and that again connected that to the PLC so for that it's great now you've got this little sleeve down the back but I mean you can just see this stitch in This stitching is not going to last nowhere near as long as the Maxpedition gear. Bear that in mind. But if you're on a budget, it's worth it. Or if you're not going to get that much use. But anyway, yeah, so it's got a sleeve down the back there, some pad in there. Can you hear that? <laughs> oh dear, I'm so used to doing reviews on the Maxpedition one, I'm not going to say something's great when it ain't, because it ain't. But, yeah. Uh, then you've got a bell cut. Uh, belt buckle big belt buckle not bad um by the way original zulu i'll swap this for your remora if you want <laughs> very much doubt you will um why would you but anyway yeah then we've got some ver some uh loop on the front here which to be honest some elasticated i might just take that off and i don't know don't really like that much uh 
so it's the same pocket that all the gear slingers have, although it's not gear slinger. Yeah, um, handle on the top here, not too bad. Different attachment points for your loop. Some mole on the side here, which are loose. To be honest, the one good thing about this is because it's not such high quality as uh, Maxpedition, you can actually, I think, it's a bit like the Snug Pack Response Pack, but still not as made as good as that. But you can shove more in it. Obviously, you've got these crappy zippers. Um, but yeah, for something like a cook kit where it gets dirty, as you know, your cook kits get dirty, oh, I'm thinking this is going to be all right. So then, anyway, into the actual pack now. Um, got this front pocket here, very sizey. Um, in there I've got some spare bags, I've got brew kit, coffee, sugar, milk, and then I've also got the instructions for my water purification bottle, as there's a certain thing you have to do every time, or every fresh time you use it if it's been in storage for a while. Then in this nice big front pocket here, pretty roomy, and like I say, because the material is a bit more flexible, a bit more softer, you can fit more in it. I've just got this little spoon just because um, stir things with and stuff. Just, you know, it's plastic, doesn't weigh anything, so it fits in there. And you pick things like this up out of like salad bowls and stuff, and you know, they come in handy. This elastic here is really, really baggy. I don't know if it's that baggy on the Maxpedition. Check that stitching out not good um, yeah you do get spoilt with the Maxpedition look at that sort of finish there it ain't gonna last long I know that any sort of hard use on this and it ain't. so the thing that worries me I, I think I'll take this to the woods local as my cook kit but I would not take this on a long you know like National Park trip, no way, because there's just the chance it will break on you. And if so, if your kit, which you need, breaks on you out there, you're in trouble, aren't you? The thing I do like, they've got the shorter key keeper, which is quite nice. To be honest, I don't use them that much. Anyway, little pocket down the back there. God knows what the waterproofing material is and that. I've no idea, but I've... anyway, and then in here, in the front here, I've got my BCB um, cooker for the cup. Inside that, wrapped up in this plastic bag, I've got the water purification unit which screws inside the bottle so normally when I'm in my woods I've got no water to purify so I'd keep that out um, and I use my bottle to carry water in. Waterproof matches inside there, uh, hexi blocks for this burner if I use it. Like I say I normally like to cook on the fire but I just prefer it but I mean the other day, to be honest, I didn't take this because no, I didn't take. Yeah, I didn't take the front unit because I hadn't worked out how to fit it in it yet, and I just had my things. So I had to make fire. Situations like that, when my permanent shirt had been knocked down, I um, could have done with that, to be honest with you, just to make a quick cup of tea. But never mind. Um, in here is a Zippo. Now this does work. If you put this tape around it, it stops the air getting to the fuel and drying it out. Because otherwise, Zippos are pretty useless as a long term thing although that hasn't stuck back that well this time but yeah I, I check it every before I go out and it seems to work so yeah I've got the cup holder in there lovely then in the main pouch which unfortunately and I think as this is copying the Maxpedition uh, the Remora this is probably the same it doesn't flap all the way down I like it to have the clamshell opening personally and open all the way down but it doesn't uh, for big bulky items like what I've got in it, it's not that bad, but I mean if you wanted to use it as an everyday bag it'd be a nice feature if it came all the way down, so you could clamshell. Uh, I've just got a spork in one of these pockets, so at the front here you've got a little, I say little, quite a roomy uh, pocket down there. Hold on, let me grab a torch. Quite a bit of size down in here to fit whatever I've just fitted the heavy lid cover in there excellent bit of kit you saw in my last video I boiled with this I might do a whole review on this if I get time I've still got the cup pack for it from Ray Mears site so well overpriced but handy um, yeah and then obviously I've got my my life systems 
water purifier in there. Um, then obviously I've got my mug, which bloody rice stained last time. So my mug fits in there nicely. Um, hand sanitizer, more hexi blocks. Jane didn't have them with me the other day, so I'm keeping them in there all the time now. Um, and then there's this whole big sleeve at the back here, which I've currently got nothing in because it just it, I can't fit anything else in there the way I've got this set up. Then you've got this bit of Velcro, which is massively too long. Um, but I suppose that's if you're stuffing that out, maybe they, but that's the whole, sorry, you've got this bit of elastic with Velcro on it, but I suppose, you know, that's the whole point of it being elasticated, surely, when it, when you, when you store something, I think that's just a manufacturing cock up, to be honest with you. Oh, look at that, it nearly pulled the bloody, look at the state of that, I haven't even used this back pocket, and that, pulling that Velcro just pulled all that stitching out of there. Jesus. See that? See that there is loose thread all over the shop. Literally. It's crap. If you need it like I do for a look, it's just all gonna fall apart. If you need it like I do for a um for a cook kit just to see what it's like, then then do it. Or whatever, you know, if you just want to test out your sizes, something kit you're not that worried about. But to be honest, like I said, I would not take this walking because if this bag broke on me. And I had to lug all this, you know, try and attach this to my main pack somehow, all this kit. And it, normally when I go away, there's no spare room. It's all taken up. So, as you've seen from my bug out kits, etc. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so you can fit that in nicely. The, this bottle I've got is quite a big bottle. It has a big, big lid on it there. Um, but I think, well, I know if you put a GI canteen, I haven't actually got a British Army canteen, I've just never bothered because I like everything to be green because I'm weird. Um, but a GI canteen comes a lot lower than that, comes to about there, so you could probably easily fit this on with the heavy, heavy lid cover, cover sitting underneath in there. Or if you had the Webtex version of this, I don't know actually if the Webtex version of this is shorter, I think it might be, but this is quite a long bottle. And now that is why I wanted to buy this kit. Because what I wanted to be able to do was have my water filtration unit in there, cooker in there, everything in this kit. And then there's so much space in here, you can add happily a ration there, a ration there, noodles there, bag of rice there, couscous, whatever. There's a lot of space, you know, for a day trip, I think you could probably fit most of your food in here easily and your cooker and your water, you know, contained, job done. And now if you're going somewhere where you've got running water, you don't need to take water with you. You've got your purification unit, your food, your, your way of cooking your food, everything, all in this pack, and that's what I wanted. Um, now, obviously, to this you could add... I could add my alcohol stove, which I've got, obviously, where you've got to troll the cook systems out. I don't use that that, much, that often, to be honest, because uh, um, you just have to lug the alcohol and stuff about with it. But uh, they are great cookers, and you could fit that in here perfectly. Maybe for a longer trip I'd do that. Some alcohol, the alcohol stove, that would all fit in here, no problem. Obviously, you burn it all in this unit. Um, yeah, all in all, the bag, the dimensions, stuff like that, perfect for this sort of cook kit. Would I suggest buying this? I don't know, I'll leave that up to you. I brought it, so what does that tell you? But then the Remora is £80 for a cook kit. It's a lot of money really is a lot of money uh and but i know to buy it in america is 40 pound so but then as i was discussing with someone mike on here the other day if you um order stuff from maxpedition site and get it sent over they sting you by adding tax on at the uh, uk customs add tax on the last one i've done that with i actually got my sister to order it but she just sent it straight from maxpedition because she lives in america and um it was it came out uh, 30 quid extra I had to pay for customs they basically looked and what it should be worth and all that so if you've got anyone that's living in America it might be best like next time anything I get from Expedition I'll send it to her house and then get her to send it over as you know unpackaged present or something or bring it over with them anyway yeah this is uh, perfect for this kit so make your own choices <laughs> about this 
I've showed you the pros and many cons, but yeah, 15 quid, you know, choice is yours. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.